Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. Most exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4, or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter, has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special to fight fans all around the world. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller, the reach is the same. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's with the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that's a 
Big hook to the chin. Good punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big knee there. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh, big left hook there. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. And they separate. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Strong left there. Under two minutes to go. Get the turtle in that kick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, huge hook. Effective punch there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, man. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big elbow there, Lance. Landed a good uppercut there. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Just misses there with the left. He's throwing every part of himself. Oh! So a strong five minutes down. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin Gaethje. Big balls to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation. Oh! oh. Back of the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! All right, so he postures up here, and now fingers to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. I love watching.
watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high. Level. That is it. That'll do it. Oh! Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things